It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. My name is Ryan and in this video, we're gonna walk from this side of town all the way to the other side of downtown Gatlinburg. We're gonna check out some different places you can stay, some places you can eat, and some things to do. We're gonna check out some things that are new are coming soon here to Gatlinburg in 2023. So without further ado, let the adventure begin. from Pigeon Forge through the spur. Right here you have Herbert Holt Park. It's a great park. They have a kids fishing area, great little playground. And over here is what I understood. I last heard it was a hotel project that fell through. Now they are supposed to be cleaning up the site and hydro seating so it doesn't look so bad. So I don't really know all the details as to why this particular project fell through, but we'll continue to keep an eye on this property and see what they end up doing with it in the future. From the entrance to Gatlinburg, you have the Gatlinburg package store with an looks like ABC liquor and wine across, flapjacks, and next to that, the Appy Lodge. We've never stayed at this particular hotel, but other people have told us they've had a good experience. Next to the Appy, you have the Davy Crockett Mini Golf, which we have played here. It is a pretty nice little course but if you can only play one round of golf I'll show you here in just a moment what our favorite mini golf is let's check out this gas station to see what the current prices are it's like three dollars and 79 cents for regular gas let's check out the other gas station up here on the left it's actually a beautiful 70 degrees right now here at the end of February last night Bree and I were talking and she thinks we might get one more snow but I think I think we're done with snow for the year. We'll see. Let's check out some more stuff right up here. As we come up to the Moonshine Mountain Coaster, we still have to come back and give this one a try. Got some construction to the Rocky Waters Motel over here to the right. And to the left, I think I noticed a uh, vehicle protruding on the uh, sidewalk here. Well, look at that. Some of you are excited and some of you could care less and some of you have no idea what I'm talking about right now. Right next to Parton's Deli, they're actually working on a new pizza place. So once they open that up, we might have to go in and try out a slice of pizza. So now we come to one of my favorite mini golfs in the area. If I could only do one here in Gatlinburg, I would definitely come do this one. Here at the end of February, they're currently closed at the moment, but they're looking to open the first Friday or Saturday in March, weather permitting. One thing new they've added this off season is this little ball collector right here, which will be kind of fun for kids of all ages to watch the ball come back down the mountain. So you can see that the ball will end up here as it comes all the way up the track. Again, very fun, unique mini golf. I would definitely recommend it. It's not too pricey either. Continuing on our walking tour, we come to one of many trolley stops throughout the city of Gatlinburg. Their trolley system is free. So if you can hop on, you can hop back off at any location. You don't have to pay any money. And speaking of money, let's see how much it costs for gas at this BP gas station. So regular gas is $3.99 a gallon. I just filled up down the road at Sevierville for $2.98 a gallon. So if you're able to fill up in Sevierville or Pigeon Forge, definitely do that there. We've got the Ripley's mountain coaster that you can hop on over here. And right next to that, nothing new. It's been here for quite some time, but Zoder's in and sweet which the main appeal to this particular location is the creekside balconies you can sit out here and listen to this throughout the day you can see they have some easter decorations already out here at zoders as well as the smoky mountain trout house right next door this is a place we've actually not been to there's a place up on the right that we have been to and had a really good experience having some seafood. 
Right across from the Underdog Sports Bar, the Atrium restaurant is that restaurant I was referring to, Chesapeake's. This made it very high up on our list on our top 10 most romantic restaurants here in the Smokies. If you're celebrating an anniversary or just want a nice date night, you can check out that video. I'll put it down in the description. We next come to Speedworks Exotic Car Experience. This is gonna be a car museum opening soon. We'll keep an eye on the actual opening date and we'll try to go in and do a tour if we can and show you what this place is like. Oh, I see uh, a bird crossing the road here. If you're looking for a place to stay, I think you can't go wrong with any of the Margaritavilles either here in Gatlinburg or at the island. Coming up to No Way Jose's. Bree and I went here when we first came to the Smokies. We haven't been here since. It's been quite some time. We'll have to try it out. And these guys over here are being kind of loud. So you got the batch on the left and then the guy on the right over here who just crossed the road. He can't figure out how to get back to his, uh, his family. Come on, little buddy. You can figure it out. Next we come to Anakista. One thing you'll notice here at the bottom is the Honey Bee store is gone. It is going to be an all new shopping store just for Anakista products, the great outdoors trading company. And up at the top, they're actually working on the Hellbender. This is a new coaster it's themed to reflect the local Smoky Mountain salamander species. And its introduction will offer both a single rail and a double rail mountain coaster experience for the entire family to enjoy. They're also working on a bird venture that's coming fall of 2023. They're gonna have three larger than life bird houses. We'll feature a new play area that will let kids of all ages experience life as three native birds in the Great Smoky Mountains. So as it's now starting to rain on me a little bit, we'll come back here on a nicer weather day and we plan to do some zip lining hopefully this spring or summer. So we'll take you along to show you what zip lining at Anakista is like, hopefully soon. I hope you guys are enjoying this tour so far. If you are, do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button down below so you can join us on other tours. And when things like the new mountain coaster open up, we'll bring you up top, show you what the mountain coaster is like, maybe throw a GoPro on and give you a feel of if it's something you'd like to do when you come to Gatlinburg. But let's keep walking. Hopefully this rain will let up here. One thing I thought I'd point out is the Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies is currently in the running as a USA Today top 10 aquarium in the nation. I believe it's number four right now. You can check out our full tour of this particular aquarium in the description of this video. And we cover discounts and just give you an overview of what this aquarium is like. We highly recommend it. Right across the street is access to a trail. You can see the top of Anakista up to the left and to the right here, this orange sign, it points to Motor Nature Trail. It is currently closed right now. The Roaring Fork Motor Nature Trail is one that we would suggest if you're looking to come here and see some black bears. It will open up on April 7th. So I would drive right down this road, follow the signs. Again, Roaring Fork Motor Nature Trail loved by minis will be opening soon on april 7th and if you don't have a vehicle you can always utilize a pink jeep tour as these people are doing right now thankfully the rain just stopped but if it didn't i could always hop in here to the mountain mall and do some different shopping we've got some construction going on over here to the left let's go see what they are working on. But before we do, we have to make a quick walk through the village. See some people enjoying some pancakes inside at the Pancake Pantry. Here at the village, you'll find a collection of 27 unique boutiques, eateries, galleries, clothing stores, all set in this quaint European themed village atmosphere. Sun is coming out now. Man, it is a truly Beautiful day here in the neighborhood of Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Oh, and I can smell the donuts from the donut fryer right now. Thankfully, I don't have any cash on me. Otherwise, 
I'd have to hop in and grab one. They do have an ATM machine, but I'm gonna be good. We're gonna, we're gonna keep walking. I'm gonna loop around this back section. I gotta try a Maddie Mays Cafe and Creamery as well. Got a little escape room back here. Got the silver tree and a life is good. Honey pot along with many other stores back here in the village. Any Farkles with the Space Needle off in the distance, but check out the crowd levels here on a Thursday afternoon in late February. Continuing on down the road, right next to the best Italian pizza, you have the Tennessee Stud Cider Company. This opened towards the end of 2022. It's the newest hard cider house making its way into downtown Gatlinburg. The company is brought to you by the same people of the Yeehaw Brewing Company that's located in the island in Pigeon Forge. If you ever wanna make hard cider yourself, I heard you just put it in the freezer. I've also heard they almost ran out of cider one time. It became a very pressing issue. My kids aren't here, but I still gotta drop the dad jokes. Lots of little shops along here. Not a whole lot has changed. As well as over on the left side here, all sorts of airbrush t-shirt shops and souvenir shops. We come to Chicken Guy. I'm still a big fan if you have kids. $4.99 for a kid's meal. You can walk up and the line's not bad. Get a quick bite to eat, lunch or dinner here. If you're in the mood for Mexican, you can't go wrong with Loco Burro up here. You can see this was an old McDonald's, I believe, still set to be demolished. We'll watch what goes in here. And over to the right, what was Huckers, in China Bazaar. Still nothing being built yet at this time. We'll keep an eye on what was Huckers in China Bazaar here on this section of Gatlinburg. Now we've never personally stayed at the Gatlinburg Inn, but if I was trying to pick a place just on location, I mean, you're right here in the heart of downtown Gatlinburg. You can walk down the road to either side and access quite a bit. You can see the top of the Gatlinburg Skylift Park up to the top of the video. This is another option if you want to get some great views of the Smoky Mountains. Head up and see the Sky Bridge. Walk across a glass section. We have a full tour and guide of what this place is like. They are working on this new building right here. The original ticketing center has been around since the 19. 50s. So this particular building is going to have a very modern look. It looks like this when it's all complete. So I'd be curious to know, what do you think? Does this fit into the look and feel of downtown Gatlinburg area? What are your thoughts on this new building? Let us know down in the comments. So from the Skylift across the street, you would find Ripley's, believe it or not. And again, the Space Needle back behind it. If you want to get some views of the Smokies, you can go up there. For people that are looking to try some different moonshines, you have the Sugarlands Distillery that you can come in here and try a couple different moonshines. Across the street near the base of the Space Needle, you'll find the Crazy Mason Milkshake Bar. And in the month of March, they'll have this particular milkshake that you could come and get for St. Patrick's Day. We got some Ripley's attractions and another car museum. Again, we saw that exotic one when we first came into Gatlinburg. This one's been here for quite some time. And again, the crowd level is fantastic right now. You can see the Mellow Mushroom, great place to come get some pizza. And back here, they often have live music. It looks like they're setting up for right now. The Gatlinburg Convention Center looks like they've finished that balcony. They've got some nice rockers up top. Across from the Convention Center, the LeConte View Motor Lodge. They still have this as a parking lot as of right now, what they had to tear down. And up ahead, they still have a TGI Fridays. They have closed down the one in Sevierville and a new restaurant is moving in there. We come to the Hampton Inn by Hilton, which is currently getting a remodel. It's supposed to be done by the end of the summer. Let me go in and show you a couple of pictures what this place will be like once it's done. So you can see the remodel here, phase one and two of the remodel. Here's a look at the lobby on phase two of the remodel. 
So we'll try to come back once the remodel is complete and show you what this place is like here in Gatlinburg. I've always liked this location right here next to the river and you'd be right next to the blue Ober Mountain, formerly known as Ober Gatlinburg. I feel like it was more of an olive green before. I think they did a paint job here on the building as they are completely rebranding to Ober. Yesterday was the last day that you could go skiing or snowboarding. The snow season is officially closed here early. Typically does go into March, but We've got some warm 70 degree weather today and they've gone ahead and ended the snow activities up top early this year. We'll keep an eye on continued changes here at Ober Mountain with the new ownership and right across the street from Ober Gatlinburg, you would find Howard's Steakhouse and the Cherokee Grill, which we had a number of people tell us recently that we need to go try. So we'll try to get over here and try out the Cherokee Grill soon. We also need to try this Luigi's pizzeria and pasta. We have been to Cumberland Jack's and had a great meal there. Again, you can check out that video for Cumberland Jack's. I'll put that down in the description. And across the street is the Black Bear Inn and Suites and owned by the same company as Cumberland Jack's that we just passed is Crockett's Breakfast Camp. I would put Crockett's as a top three place to come get some breakfast here in Gatlinburg, right up there with the Pancake Pantry, we would pass by the village, as well as the Log Cabin Pancake House over by the Space Needle. Starting to come to the end of the main strip in Gatlinburg, you have the Park Grill, still one of our favorite places to go have an enjoyable salad bar. As we wind down our walk here in Gatlinburg, if you kept walking down the road, you'd run into Sugarlands Visitor Center. You'd be into the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. As of right now, the road to Klingman's Dome is closed until April 1st. Klingman's Dome is one that we would definitely recommend. You get an amazing view of the Smokies. You can get one last look here of the streets of Gatlinburg, the crowd levels, and to give you a little view of the mountains. Just never forget how beautiful the mountains are. You don't want to take them for granted. Well, that's gonna wrap up this walking tour through Gatlinburg. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you're subscribed for more detailed reviews of places to eat and things to do here in the Smokies and beyond. If you have any questions of anything we covered or we didn't cover, feel free to drop those down in the question section. We'll do our best to help you out. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure. Bye.